Rich in history and culture, the vibrant Kumamoto city will leave one enchanted. From the stunning Kumamoto castle to the breathtaking Suizenji Jojuen Garden, this city has something for everyone. Yes, everyone. Come along as we discover why Kumamoto City is one of the most sought-after destinations in Japan. We finally reached Kumamoto and the first thing after we arrive, we go and buy the Ikinari Dango. This is actually one of the specialty in Kumamoto. From the description online, it mentioned that inside it is a sweet potato and red bean. Outside is mochi. It's actually very hot because they were steaming it. I personally like sweet potato and Sean likes red bean. So it's a combination of both of our favorites. So we are very excited to taste this. Mm. The skin outside is not so mochi, it's not so chewy, it's like a pao texture. Seems like they stuff more sweet potato than the red bean. Not bad. After reaching Kumamoto Station, we bought the one-day tram pass, which is 500 yen. The tram ride for a single ride is 140 yen. So if you sit about four times, then it is better to get the one-day tram pass. Behind us is the Kumamoto Castle. So as you can see here, they are still repairing. There was an earthquake that happened and some parts of the castle was destroyed. They estimated that it will take 20 years to restore fully. The reason is because they are trying to build back the original state using their old technique and different parts of the castle is using different materials and is built during a different time so it actually requires quite a lot of time to investigate how to build back to the original state so we are going in now and we will see you after we checked it out see, see you, you. Just done visiting the interior of the castle. The cost is about 640 yen per pack if you have the one day tram pass. So do buy it because it's pretty worth it. The castle is fully restored. The interior is very interesting. It actually documents the history of the castle. Uh, most of the exhibits are in Japanese, but you can download the free app and scan the QR code for the English explanation. While we were walking towards the Kumamoto castle, there was a volunteer staff that explained to us about the impact of earthquake to this castle and because they were worried that the buildings will collapse after yeah. the earthquake They dismantled the five-storey turret and they are planning to rebuild Re it after So I think that's why it will take about 20 years mm. to restore everything back to the original state this shrine is the Kato Shrine. So what's so special about this shrine? Lord Kato Kiyomasa is a very respectful figure in Kumamoto. And they built a shrine for him because in the olden days, he initiated a large-scale flood project and also he built a very good foundation for the Kumamoto city. Every year, 400k people will be coming to pray for good luck. If you want to overcome some difficulties in life, this shrine is also for this purpose. People say that Kato, this word, if translated to English, it means we will win. 
So I think that's the reason why people come to pray when they have any things that they want to overcome. After finishing our visit to Kato Shrine, we are now at Zhou Sai. It's actually a shopping street with an olden days kind of architecture. And we bought the mustard lotus. Based on the description, it's a deep fried lotus. Let me try. Wow. I never tried a deep fried lotus before. I think this tank is very suitable to eat with alcohol because the mustard flavor is very strong and it's a little bit spicy. It's a must try in Kumamoto. Kagumi ramen shop and he sells Kumamoto ramen. We ordered an all-in ramen. Now I'm going to taste the ramen and see what's the difference between Kumamoto ramen and Hakata ramen. Mm. It actually tastes different. For Kumamoto ramen, I think it's more towards the garlic flavor kind of soup. The ramen itself is a thin kind of ramen. It's actually soaked with all the broth. It's very nice. Let me try the char siu. The char siu meat is actually just nice. It's not so lean and not so fat. Overall, it's a very good ramen. We are now right outside Sui Jenji Park. And just as we were about to go in, we saw a shop selling Inari Dango And it seems pretty authentic because the owner was featured on TV But it seems pretty much the same as the one at Kumamoto Station We bought a different flavour, this is without red bean Oh, this is the one we have just the piece of sweet potato inside So it's like a sweet potato wrap with a layer of skin mm. It's just like eating the sweet potato, but this sweet potato is really sweet. It's like mashed up already. Ah. It's better than the one we had at Kuwamoto Station. So if you are making a trip to Suizenji, probably you want to skip the one at Kuwamoto Station mm. and come here to eat it. This is way better. Mm. I think they are using better quality sweet potato. Mm. Maybe on our way out, we will get the one with red beans. We are now almost done visiting Suyenji Park and I got to say, once you walk in, you are greeted by a very nice view. It's really well maintained and it's very calm and serene. Totally worth the 360 yen we, we paid to enter. But I think during the Sakura festival as well as the plum blossom, it would be probably nicer if you come during those seasons because they have a plum and a cherry blossom viewing route. I guess it's the off season, there isn't much people here, so we get to enjoy the park mostly to ourselves. One of the significant spots in this park is the Little Mount Fuji, which you can see once you enter the park. Right, so now we will probably head back to the main shopping area. There's quite a few shopping arcades and departmental stores that we will be visiting. It's now 3.30 and the shop has closed. Guess we are not going to have the red bean and sweet potato dango. After leaving the park just now, we came here, visited quite a few of the shopping arcades that's here and also the Suruya departmental store. And we also ate quite a few snacks while we were there. <laughs> behind us is Kumamon Square. It's in the building behind us. Unfortunately, it closes at 5 p.m. Kumamon is actually the mascot of Kumamoto. And the meaning of this mascot is to say that it's a Kumamoto person. 
So in Japanese, it's called Kumamoto Mono. In short, they name it as Kumamon. This mascot actually helped his region earn 1.2 billion USD within two years. It's yeah. a very lucky mascot. wonder it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now it's 5.15 p.m. We will probably head back to our hotel. We will see you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye. Kato Kia. Lord Kato Kia Masa is actually a respectful feature in Kokuko. Itari Nanto Dango. So, let me. <laughs> One of my hand is holding the phone, so I'm not able to open the packaging. 